Introducing the future of sports marketing. Moderated by Chris Stone, Editorial Director, Time Inc.'s Sports Illustrated, Golf, and SI Kids. Understanding their audiences and, and delivering something to them the way they want to see it first above all else, uh, it, they're the ones that are going to win. Um, we've already mentioned the NBA Bleacher Report. They are doing it extremely well. Uh, Bleacher Report has said openly, we don't know how we're going to monetize content on social yet, but we'll figure that out. We, we, and they do one of the best jobs of understanding their audience and the things that drive a reaction from them and, and providing that. And I think when, when you have that mindset, um, it, it's more about nurturing that audience and, and growing, growing your community as opposed to trying to figure out how to monetize or, or set some other objectives that just aren't going to work on, on social. I'd say if, if monetization down the road is tied to, to the sponsorship dollars, if, if that's where it's going, I, I think you've got to look at companies like Facebook, Instagram, um, and I think in the future Snapchat. They, the targeting that they allow the brands to come in with, the content that's, that can be available there, and the ability to partner with people and, and do branded content, I mean, they're just set up so well. To, to just have a, to ride a wave of, of revenue coming in, and, and that's where the dollars are going. And, and quite frankly, we're, we're seeing, you know, th as brands become smarter about the way they target content, um, we're seeing just unbelievable results when, when we build great content and figure out exactly who's going to react to it the best. Um, it's, you know, in Instagram and Facebook have been unbelievable for us, as has is, as is Twitter. Being able to, to provide, provide that value, the interaction, that something that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise, provide that value. That, but that's where I think a lot of brands are struggling. They're still looking at sports par partnerships as, as a way into an audience to deliver the same messaging that they're doing everywhere else. And they're not understanding that the bigger opportunity is that passion. If we can, if we can figure out what makes that fan tick, and I think they're getting a lot of bad counsel, honestly. They're, I, I, there's, there's not enough people that are experts enough in the, the sports fan to say, here's how you win these people over, and they're coming into it with some really bad objectives that don't play out well on social. Well, it's, it's going from, what is our brand equity, what is our brand message, what is our brand tone, to what do they want? And that's, that's, that's what we're seeing. And it's not just the brands, it's, it's a lot of the, it, you, you hear a lot of agencies talk about they're changing, they're evolving, but the creative, they've, they've hired platform experts that know that we have to have it under 90 characters, but they're not changing the creative process that starts with what is it that people are actually reacting to, and let's build a content strategy out of that as opposed to here's what we need to communicate, how do we get this in front of as many people as possible? That's a total mindset shift.